Okay, so with this we're going to take our bouncing ball from the previous exercise and uh, put it into a class instead of just having it this way. So let's make a class real quick. Uh, we're going to go def and we're going to call it a mover. And uh, oh, we don't do anything there. And also we need to say class instead of def. And we're going to go def space underscore underscore init underscore underscore self to make our constructor and we need uh, two kinds of information we need a position and a velocity and uh, so let's pass this information in instead of uh, uh, creating it inside the class so position and velocity and position and velocity and then also we're going to need uh, upper bounds and we're gonna have that as 90 so let's go and find uh, the upper bounds we can delete this out and have position and velocity and delete this okay so what we did for each time was we uh, we updated this we moved it and then we also uh, checked the edges so let's create two uh, two functions in here and we're gonna go update and we always use self and so uh, the update was we added the position to the velocity vector and then we made the position variable equal to that so self dot velocity and I'm doing the self position and self dot velocity so it refers to uh, the class variable Okay, so that updates the position, and then we also need to uh, check edges. And here's how we check the edges uh, when we didn't use a class. So let's throw that up in here for I range, and then also. Uh, we need to uh, have these refer to our class variables so self.position self.velocity self.position and self.upper bounds okay so that should be everything that we need to do for our uh, mover and so uh, let's create our mover so m equals mover and we need to pass in two uh, variables we need to pass in position and velocity and so uh, we ignore a self we need to pass in a position and a velocity so we're going to pass in this position and this velocity and uh, it might be a little confusing where I have these all the same um, just know that this variable these variables are different from these variables uh, yeah uh, review scopes if uh, if that's uh, conf confusing um, variable scope just google that okay so we have our mover and what we want to do, what do we want to do for each moment in time is we want to update it. So when we do this, okay, so this makes um, an instance of this class up here. And to call the function of the class, we need to go m.update, m. whatever we uh, set in here whatever our function is we want to call 
and then we also uh, checked edges so check edges and we're going to add a point at m dot position so if you want uh, to get a hold of a, a variable inside of a class you need to uh, you know give the instance name dot whatever variable you want and so we're going to add a point there it's not a sphere it's a point we're going to throw the point into that list so let's test this to see okay let's try it okay so it's functioning uh, exactly the same as we had before but now that we have uh, now that we have it in a class, we have a little bit more power. Well, actually a lot more power. Um, 